Jessica from Macaroni Kid York, and I'm here today to talk to you about internet safety. Um, I recently did a review for a product for one of our sponsors called Bark, and it is like an online monitoring system that helps me monitor my daughter's text messages on her phone or any like social media platforms that she has downloaded on her iPad and also checks her email on her laptop as well. And prior to this, I was just, you know, it's kind of a scary world, the internet, and you never know what's going on. You hear about cyberbullying, different uh, threats of violence going around. Um, we even had one at her school. Um, you don't know what exactly she's watching on sites like YouTube or TikTok. And I was just a little worried and I didn't know how to monitor all of it. It's kind of overwhelming. There's so many apps, there's so many different things going on, and she has so many different devices. Like, how can a parent monitor all of this content? And as I was doing research, that's when I found the product Bark. And what Bark does is, I call it my internet watchdog. It goes through all of her apps on all of her devices, all of her social media accounts, all of her email accounts, um, anything that she's searching as well. If she just does like a Google search or a Bing search or whatever program she's using on those devices. And it goes through and it scans all the contacts and then it sends me alerts to any contacts or any context that they find questionable for me to review. Um, I've been using it now for about a month and I have to say, I love it. Like I'm definitely going to continue um, with my subscription for it. And one thing that happened, and this is like a personal experience I'm going to share with you, and I'm kind of nervous to share it, um, but on the first weekend that we had Bark installed on my daughter's devices, I was getting alerts to different content. And sometimes it will come up and will say, um, like, she researched violent subject matter. So I would go through and click on the things and she was looking up the, uh, my daughter is obsessed with Hamilton, so she was looking up the American Revolution. Um, so some of those videos and depictions probably did have violence in them, but I know she wasn't looking at it um, in a harmful way. So those alerts I could just, you know, pass by and not worry about them. But an alert came up on her phone to different text messages and as I was going through them, it was one of her friends and one of her newer friends and as I was reading through, I really realized that this person didn't seem like a good influence on my daughter. She seemed like a little bit of a bad influence and she was saying things that were very questionable to me and, and this was the first weekend that I had Bark installed. And this was a friend who I knew she talked to and I knew she talked to regularly, but I hadn't noticed the content and without Bark, I wouldn't have seen it. And then I was able to talk to my daughter about it and we came to the conclusion together that maybe she should no longer be talking to this girl on the internet. Um, and that's one of the reasons that I like Bark is you never know what's going on. It, like I thought I knew, I would go through and randomly check uh, you know, different messages and different apps and I have her email accounts installed on my phone so I would you know, go through sometimes and just see what she was doing but I can't monitor everything. And now that I have this program, it's called Bark, um, it gives me like a little window into her world because the internet's a scary place, right? Um, I'm sure that if you have kids, you worry about this as well. I know I can't be the only person. And um, Bark goes through and it does text messages, emails, uh, I believe it's 24 different social media platforms. It might be, yeah, it is 24 different social media platforms. Every social media platform that my daughter had, their Bark was able to monitor it. So I know like TikTok was one of them, Facebook, Instagram, um, the Kick app. Um, what's that? Visco Girls, that one. Um, it monitors that one. Uh, there's a couple other ones, and I know that they add new ones all the time because different platforms are being invented. Kids are always at the forefront of these new apps. So as different apps are invented, Bark will find a way to monitor those apps too. So I love that. Um, they just released the other day, and I 
should have looked at the name of it before I went live, but there's like this new social media platform that teenagers are using, and thankfully my daughter's a tween, so she hasn't started using it yet. Um, and they just re released that now that you can add your daughter or your kids' accounts to Bark to monitor those as well. Um, and I feel like I don't need to tell you that the internet's a scary place. Like we all know the internet, anything, the possibilities are endless, so we never know what's going to happen. Uh, but I was re researching before I went live and I wanted to share a few things with you that are just really alarming to me. Um, one of the things that Bark will monitor for is mental health and it will flag on different things like uh, suicidal thoughts, thoughts of self-harm. Well, it won't be thoughts, it will be things that they're typing or things that they're searching that will alert you to those things. And there's different statistics. They did a couple studies and I think they analyzed, let me read this real quick to you. They analyzed over 900 million messages across text, email, social media platforms and they found that 31.9% of tweens and 45.6% of teens, so that's almost half of our teens, engaged in conversations about damp depression and anxiety. And that's conversations that they're most likely not having with you. So if you have a program like Bark, it kind of gives you just that an inside window to their world because this is where they're doing all their communication. Like I don't answer phone calls anymore. I, I only text. Well, I do answer my mom's phone calls because she threatens me. But other than that, like I text everybody um, and my daughter as well. She's texting. She's using different social media platforms. So all of her conversations are you know, going to be written and monitored by Bark. And anytime that she would have... Any conversations that are going to be about mental health, whether it's hers or the people who she's talking to, Bark will alert me to those so I know what kind of content she's seeing and what she's saying to other people. And it's nice to have that inside window into her world so I know what's going on. Um, Cyberbullying. That's a huge issue today, right? Like we're all concerned about that. We don't really know what's going on and sometimes we may see behavioral issues and we wonder like is this from cyberbullying like did somebody say something to her or is it just because she's a teenager um but from this study they said that 62 percent so more than half 62 percent of tweens and 70 point sorry i had a look 70.5 percent of teens have experienced cyberbullying that's crazy to me. That's so many. And we, we wouldn't know unless we had something that we're either, you know, over their shoulder all the time, which is just humanly not possible, or had something like Bark to monitor all of their devices. Um, drugs and alcohol. That's another thing that, you know, all parents are going to be concerned about. 59.6% of tweens and 75.8% of teens engaged in conversation around illicit drugs or alcohol. Again, like 59% for tweens is alarming to me. Alarming. Um, I can't say I'm not surprised, but you know, it's alarming. And I just feel safer knowing that even though my daughter knows this is installed on her devices, like she knows that I'm monitoring her information, if even her friends would say something, I'm gonna be alerted to it. So I'll know like maybe this person isn't the best influence or maybe we need to have a conversation here. Um, and then other things it's gonna alert you to as well. Violence, uh, I kind of touched on that. Like sometimes it will flag violence and they're looking up American Revolution videos and maybe, you know, something will come up that you have to be concerned about. I'll get a couple that said, you know, there's subject matter includes weapons. Um, different things like that things to be concerned about uh as far as you know sexual content uh content and sexting bark will flag you to those incidents they look through all photos too um and it will send you you can set put your settings that it sends you a copy of every photo that's received through certain device or certain apps um so i have my daughters that any photos that are sent to her I get a copy of them as well. So I can see what content that she's consuming. Um, so I know what people are sending her and just have, you know, like I said, that inside window into her world because she lives her world on the internet and on her devices. This is how she's communicating with her friends. 
and I just felt I needed, you know, that extra layer of protection between her and the internet. There had to be something there, something controlling all the information going in and out. And I needed something that was going to work on cell phones because a lot of these, you know, devices and programs won't work on cell phones. This one will work on cell phones. It will work on her laptop. It will work on her tablet. Um, it doesn't matter where she's connected. She can be using her data plan or um, she could be on Wi-Fi and it's going to work. It doesn't matter where she is. If she's out at her dad's house, um, I'm still going to be alerted to any content that she's consuming under any of her logins and on all of her devices. Uh, so anyhow, I wrote a review about Bark and I'm going to link to it in this video and I would love if you would check it out. You know, just read the review. And if you have any concerns as a parent about internet safety and you want something just between like I said, just between, you know, your child and the internet. If you want something in the middle there, just where, you know, you'll be able flagged for any kind of content that may be questionable, I would definitely check out Bark. I also have a code that you can use that you'll be able to try and get a month of service for free. Um, so I am going to go ahead and I'm going to put that in the comments, uh, link to it so you'll be able to click on it and check it out. And please let me know what you think. Um, I want to thank everybody for tuning in, and I hope you have a great evening. Bye. Hi, Chris.